Carol here. Welcome to Tupelo Technique Peak Week and we're going to be using toilet paper and paper towels and you're not going to believe how much texture you will get out of paper towels and toilet paper and how sturdy it is to work with especially in these beautiful new embossing folders by We Are Memory Keepers. They're just gorgeous. They are um, this one I'm using is the cushion one and I'm doing a sympathy card and I thought with the cushions would be amazing. So I took out my dream weaver paste and it's in silver and I'm going to lay some down on the underside of the folder. And it's silver which is going to be very nice and it would show up very well. I wanted to kind of have this uh, antique silver uh, tone in the product that I'm going to be using on my next card video. So I, I'm just giving you a little peek at this card I'm doing and I am going to be using toilet paper. Spray it down and you put it in the folder. I took out my Big Shot Plus or Pro and I ran it through like this and I took it out of the folder and I'm laying it down. I'm going to spray it just to flatten it because once you spray it like this, I'm going to add another one to it. There's four layers, four single layers, one at a time. And then you spray each layer, pat them down, and then take your heat tool. And when it's just dry, I'm taking the hot cocoa, my favorite things, dye. I'm going to run it through my Vagabond. And you can see I took out a nice new plate. And while that's sitting over there, I'm going to show you this wonderful card I am making for you tonight. One thing about toilet paper and working with paper towels, you get the beautiful pattern and then you add the embossing folder and it gives you texture, amazing texture. And then when you add heat to it, it puffs it up and it is truly out of this world. I use it on many of my cards. Now this is the W plus 9 Maple Leaf die. It goes with the set. And as you can see, we are memory keepers have, they have many embossing folders out now that are truly amazing. And for this one, I wanted textured lines. So I got out this ocean um, lined folder. It looks like uh, water. And I thought that would be great. And now I'm just going to show you very quickly these um, dies that we did with the cups and the cocoa cups and look at how easily they come out and just after this if you want them to be raised up even more put your heat tool to it and then you can spray them even with your dyes I'll show you that after with your uh, spray misters um, like the Tim Holtz distress sprays look how the patterns match up it's absolutely stunning in real life and this one is with toilet paper and I've done many toilet paper, paper arts. Say that ten times. Toilet paper, paper arts. <laughs> You're going to spray on these waves any colors you want. And for these leaves, I thought two shades of green and two shades of yellow would be perfect in the Distress inks. And I did them on different spots here. I'm going to put my paper towels down because that's what we're going to use. I placed three right here. And I noticed that it really was drenched so I put another one and then I'll spray it again with water. It's the water that makes them suction and dry together and I'm telling you you know how much I love texture. Texture is my middle name and the texture you get once you put this through your Big Shot or your Big Shot Pro here and through this beautiful We Are Memory Keepers um, these new embossing folders is stunning. And I have done some artwork, actual artwork with toilet paper and paper towels that is truly beautiful in some mixed media pieces. So I took my, you know, my wonderful Milwaukee heat tool. And the more you heat the toilet paper and the more you heat the um, paper towels, it raises the images up and it's gorgeous. So now this is the texture, these lines for the water. This is what you're going to get with these beautiful leaf dyes. Gorgeous. And I'm able to do it twice on this one piece. And excuse my voice, I have the flu. I've been down with the migraine and the flu for the last two days. 
but I wanted to get this card up for you and I put the white cardstock, my 140 pound cardstock, through my vagabond, through the embossing folder to make a card and this is uh, this is what we're going to do tonight. And here I'm running it through the other side and as you'll notice you'll get ombre effect because if you put spray darks on the top and lights in the middle you have all kinds of beautiful possibilities and I got so excited making this for you because I just I, I was trying to think of different ways to get texture this evening look at that one isn't it gorgeous and I remember doing toilet paper art I'm going to show you another way to do it with your stamps and how you can get textured stamped images with toilet paper it will just blow your mind it's absolutely beautiful so now you take, I'm doing, she's going to show you how you get textured uh, images with your sentiments. So I've taken five separate sheets here, um, double ply, and I'm patting them down, putting water in between all of them. Now we want to cut some vellum, and I had some extra vellum pieces here. You want to put one on the top of your paper towel and one on the bottom, because when you do put your die cut through, you don't want the paper towel to get stuck up into your sentiment die, right? So this will protect it and it will reinforce it into the actual die. So it says with sympathy, so I'm going to put the sympathy sideways so I can um, don't have to use any more of the paper towel. Take my microcord medical tape and put it down over top to hold it on the vellum. And remember you have vellum on the top and the bottom and your paper towel in the middle and it will come off like butter it is absolutely amazing and it had enough time to dry and when you spray your distress stains on this it will not make them larger in size it will make them deeper in depth they will puff right up absolutely stunning Remember, you'll find all these products over at Two Blows, except for you're going to have to use your own toilet paper and, <laughs> and your own paper towels, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, so look for these products. I'll have them all on my blog and uh, in links so you can find them all. And isn't the font on this with sympathy just beautiful? And I thought using maple leaves and uh, I think there's elm leaves in that as well. And look at these colors. I wanted it to look very woodsy. And I think I've achieved that. And you can almost see it puffing up. Oh, I love doing toilet paper art and paper towel art. And you can see the grain of the flowers and texture. Grab your Ranger Splatter brush right now. And this is the uh, cushion. We're going to use this one. This is not the cushion one. I'll, I'll put down which um, we are Memory Keepers folder this was. But I'm just adding some of that. You don't want to waste any of the uh, spritz that we put down, right? And there's a reason for doing this. Scrape it along the sides and wait till you see the effect that gives on your quilted card. And now you have a little bit of light. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is an amazing technique. I think you're going to love, love, love making textured cards with this toilet paper and paper towels. Well, most of you know I have a Coca-Cola fridge in my craft room. Oh yes. And I grabbed one of my Coca-Cola boxes just for the bottom and we're going to use some extra strength Elmer spray glue on the backs of these with sympathy uh, paper towel sentiments that we die cut. And I'm telling you, you have lots of time here. You don't have to worry because it soaks up into the paper towel and it's hard, it's very hard. And I'm cutting this off because I'm not. I'm only using this as the front of my card. And then watch with sympathy. I put it down and notice that at the end I didn't have enough room to make it equal on both sides. Now watch me pick it up here. I want you to see how wonderfully firm this is. It is not fragile, even though we're working with toilet paper and paper towels. And up close at the end of this video, you're going to be amazed at the texture. And you know I'm one for texture. And then you just pounce it down, and it is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. 
I want to inspire you to get out your toilet paper and paper towels and your embossing folders, whether they be the We Are Memory Keepers ones or the ones that we have that are uh, just normal embossing folders and see the texture that you can get by spraying down toilet paper and paper towels and make sure when you do your sentiment you just put vellum on the top, vellum on the bottom and uh, and then when you heat dry it is when it's going to raise up. It's going to show the embedded uh, texture that you had in the toilet paper and paper towels. It's going to poof out the letters upwards like in depth. And it's going to give you, depending on what embossing folder you use, but these waves, the wave embossing folder, are the best for Lee's because it gives you little lines throughout and uh, when you heat set it, it raises up the other thicker lines and um, it's just beauteous. I'm just loving making this card and I'm loving showing you how you can take toilet paper and paper towels and use them with your dyes and your sentiments and your embossing folders and make stunning art. It's just beautiful. So I'm taking my double sided tape here and you get this in six inch, which would have been perfect for this. But I'm just using my three inch and making it work. And I'm putting it on my textured lemon yellow paper. And it's amazing how everything comes together. And see how that, when we swiped that through, how it makes it look like you could put your fingers up through the uh, poofiness around the edges of the dye that was raised up. I just love that effect. So now we're going to work with twine. I decided to get my brown and yellow together and make a beautiful little uh, bow. I'm keeping the theme to the leaves, the woodsy and everything like that. So I got out a wooden bird because you can't have leaves and trees and not have a little birdie. So I used my Ranger Multi Glue, put it on there and it had an empty spot in the belly. So I was able to tuck my twine in there and then I took a Copic multi-liner and I had a little dot for an eye. Now I took out my roll of double-sided tape and remember all these products are over at Tupelo's. I encourage you to go and visit. I'll have all the links to every product over on my blog. And here I noticed when I did the card I was short on the back. I needed about um, a quarter of an inch. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Actually, just an eighth of an inch. So you know what we do. I added some double-sided tape and a strip of the yellow to the inside. And I had a perfect card base. Isn't that wonderful? I wanted to put some more of those textured leaves. They're just beautiful. The colors are amazing. And sometimes it's very difficult to come up with a nice uh, sympathy card. And I think we did that with this card and I think the textures in it and I don't think anyone will ever know we use toilet paper and paper towels and look at the beautiful thickness and the, uh, the depth you get using paper towels and the beautiful leaves and the toilet paper and all of the patterns on it just came together wonderfully. And I'm proud to give this card away and um, even knowing that it's using toilet paper and paper towel. So our little squirrel let some of those leaves fall for me so I could make this card. And I'm taking some tea dye twine. This is extra fine. I had it in my stash. It's almost like a thick thread. And I sprayed some tea dye on it and um, it just came out beautiful. And I wrapped it around my fingers put some of the ranger glue down and we even had a little flower growing on the side while I was talking. <laughs> yak yak yakking. And we're coming to the end here. Thank you so much to my subscribers. I appreciate you very much. And now I want to not only add a little flowers coming to join us, but I wanted to add another wooden element. And for that, I used the wooden heart. Isn't that so pretty. I just love looking at it. I love knowing it's with toilet paper and paper towels. Thank you as always for letting me come into your craft room and show you some techniques and some ways of getting texture in your projects. 
and this is my Tupelo Technique Peak Week project and here we have our My Favorite Things mug die and this is a little peak of a project I'm going to do later in the week and I'm telling you the texture with toilet paper is truly amazing. You get much more using embossing folders and using your uh, heat tool to get texture than you would with just cardstock. So thank you once again for letting me join you and have a blessed week. I found a perfect spot to put this heart right in the right hand corner and we will catch you on the next video. Check out Tupelo's. We will see you then.